Back to working on the Skylark. We're going to try to get this radiator put in. I got it from Rock Auto. It says it's a factory replacement, but the top and bottom are wider than the factory. So I'm going to make some custom mounts temporarily. Try to at least get the hood on. In our last videos of working on the Skylark, we had put the front end back on, got the fender put back on, and then the videos before that, we patched the core support, we patched the inner fender, and if you didn't see those videos, you should go back and check those out. But the radiator being too big for the old factory mounts, so here's the new radiator, and this was a factory mount. As you can see, it's a lot wider and it won't, you know, stretch to fit. I'm going to try to make some custom ones with just some 3A toes. I'm going to cut a slit down it and we're going to slip it over the top. So there's my piece of 3A toes. I just, I'm just taking a pair of scissors, sliding it down it, and cutting it. It does take a lot of force to do this. There we go, got our slot. All right, so I'm gonna first put the pieces on the bottom of the radiator. I just wanted to cut it long enough so that way it could wrap around if needed, like so. But for now, I'll leave it like that. There we go. Just so if it's even vibrates or something, it won't put a hole in the radiator. Now I'll get the top two on. And that one. And there's that one. There's the top panel that holds the radiator still. That's a good tight fit, so that's good. Good side Okay, I'll get this bolted on. Fan strap back on. It has two little tabs down in there that it slides over, like right there and right there. Then it goes underneath right here, and then it goes back up right there. And it's held on with two three-eighths bolts. Be sure to take off these plastic caps because that will prevent antifreeze from flowing through the engine. So <laughs> make sure you take those off. Make sure to get those tight so you can't turn the hose so then you won't have any leaks. So this radiator came with these adapters, but we do not need the adapters. So I'll take those out. We'll get the transmission line in there. I'll get the top one started. Got the bottom radiator hose on, just tightening it up now. Right, so 
my overflow tank's not in the car yet, so I'm just gonna cap this off just to keep antifreeze in. Now we're gonna add some water and coolant to the radiator. I'll do half a gallon of this to about half a gallon of that, just so it kind of mixes in. It's coming out that hole. What hole? Oh, from the cap. The cap's not good. Yeah. It has some pressures on my wood to open it. <laughs> uh, we need to get some. Oh, okay. There we go. Try it out. <laughs> right. So it's pretty cracked up. It looks like it's shooting air out of it. So we're going to replace it. Got the new hose on. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and go follow us on TikTok at GM underscore junkie for more car content.